Well, the Preventative Research Center out of Case Western Reserve University has come out with their new statistics um, just a couple months ago, and it is now one in eight Cleveland adults have type 2 diabetes. So we know that Cleveland is really working big on Healthy Cleveland, and one of the main things that they're trying to address right now is diabetes. So in order to fit in with them, we want to make sure that they know all the services that we provide, and that way, if there's anything else that we can do to help them with Healthy Cleveland, kind of mesh the two together and really create a partnership here. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. And again, thank you and the other members of the Health Committee for your tremendous support as we continue our efforts to um, increase awareness and also to actively be engaged with not only our own resources but our partners throughout the city of Cleveland as it relates to the prevention of diabetes and other chronic illnesses that for many, many years have plagued our communities and has certainly impacted the health of our overall city in a negative way. All these different services that we provide, we want to make sure that as many people know about them as possible. Most of our services are completely free of charge. And the people that we're really trying to help right now and the, the people that need it the most are people that can't afford the test strips or can't afford to go back and see a dietitian or um, aren't looking to spend the extra dollars on um, education when they have a family to feed or just a roof over their head to be concerned about. So that's why we really want to make sure that not only the Public Health Committee of Cleveland, but also the coalitions all around Cleveland. We've been doing a lot of work with them to make sure that people know that we're out there and that we can really help. If you notice on the charts too, that the incidence in Cleveland is even higher than other cities. It's higher than the state rate, but also it does allow us to begin to pinpoint those areas of greatest need so that um, a t a greater time and attention can be uh, directed toward them. And I think the point that you raise is, is very significant. Um, diabetes is a major problem, but having the specific data allows us to better understand it so that we can then get ahead of it so that we can start changing the those numbers and hopefully start reversing those trends.